Um, Colleen, you had to work really hard, but he looked like the further you went, the more he was with you. He definitely got on board about halfway around the course. He finally clicked in and realized, you know, oh, this is this is okay. Um, you know, but no, he definitely made me work for it. I mean, he was he was really quite dare I say green to start off with and and you know it was it was definitely not exactly expected but you know at least he's willing to work with me and you know didn't give up and kept going so you know I'm 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 quite pleased with how he ended up so all in all like he learned a lot and I imagine that you'd walked all the long routes so had you planned to take those long routes no I had planned to take the long routes um it was more when I got over into the warm-up ring David had said that they weren't reading Discovery Valley very well, so to go ahead and go the long route there, which, you know, you always walk, you always walk the routes wanting to know what you would need to do in case something goes wrong, or in case something changes. So, um, that was the only major change. The rest of it was more along the lines of, oops. <clears throat> and they just showed you jump the second bit of the Rolex combination before the maltings, and it looked like we, I couldn't figure out what had happened there. <laughs> the Rolex combination, which was oh before the maltings. Yeah. So he overjumped the ditch and log, <clears throat> and put us on a line where we were, there was no way we were getting it. If we had been headed directly towards the corner, we would have made the three easy. So he overjumped, pulled him out left couldn't get to the other one without crossing my tracks and went, eh, if I'm going to get a 20, I might as well get an honest 20. Yeah. So I stuffed him through the corner and he very nicely jumped it on a ridiculous angle from nowhere and, you know, but that shows you how completely genuine he is and, you know, with a little bit more schooling, we won't have that issue because he won't over jump. Yeah. But, you know, I'd rather have a horse that over jumps than under jumps. Yeah. He looked, um, he looked good pulling up but slightly tired, less tired than you did. Oh, I still had a ton of horse coming in through the...